Hello. Today, we will learn ordinary least squares, the standard regression approach, plus Bayesian method, Monte Carlo, Marco Chen Monte Carlo method, MCMC. So let me start a Google Collect. Collect, create new. Let's make a file name. Okay. Touch that. Yeah. File name is linear regression versus MCMC class. Okay. Let me magnify. And then first, let's import NumPy. NumPy SNP. And then um, let's import test model. Import test model that API as SM. Okay. And then import tabulate for output. And then actually, yeah, import tabulate. In fact, I think from tabulate, import tabulate. And then graphic, import mat plot lib dot pyplot as PLT. And then let's test coding. Hum. Import no models, test model. Test models, test model. Test models. Yes, it's working. And then let's add a code. So first let's generate some random data set. So T is 1,000. This is a number of observations. And then K equal maybe three is number of features, basically independent variable. Independent variables, features, and then Sigma equals three, which is um, volatility of errors. And then let's generate X random number. So X is NP random. And then let's generate standard normal, standard. Uh, normal and then uh, length is t and k so this is a data data for the explanatory variables features and then let's add a constant term S M add add constant so x then if we print x then x will look like print tabulate x no standard standard normal sorry yeah, so it looks like it. So first column is just one, so it looks fine. So it is random data. And then delete it. And then next, let's generate beta. Beta is now it is NP random, random. And then because we have a constant term and K number of 
features. So the beta in linear beta should be the dimension of the beta is k plus one. Okay. So this is the true coefficient. Next, error term, let's generate error term. Error term is NP random standard normal, normal, and then T1. So this is error term. So basically there are true errors. Okay. Now we can generate Y, the true model Y. Y is X matrix algebra of beta plus sigma multiplied E. So this is the, yeah, this is the true equation, true equation to be estimated. Okay, let's save. Okay, and then let's check the model. Now we can estimate the model, like, okay, so this is data part and then run ORS to estimate the model. First model is SM dot, let's say ORS. And then we fit Y with X, right? Yeah, Y with X. And then we wanna fit. Okay, we wanna fit the model. And then yeah, we can simply see the results. So um, we can print model summary. Okay, model summary, and then we can see the regression result. SM whereas XY fit. Y is not defined. Okay, let's run the model again, and then this one. So this is model. We fit the model. So they are the equation to be estimated. So far, so good. Okay. And then next. So to, for comparison, I think we can also print, print beta, the true one. So our true coefficient is 0 0.6, 0 0.99, 0 0.8, 0 0.056. They are slightly different because we have 1,000 number of observation. If we increase number of observation, I think it will become more accurate. Okay, so, so this is a true coefficient and then they are now much similar, okay? Next, next. Okay, next, we can run, next let's run MCMC. Instead of MCMC, let's say, okay, find the estimate model, next, estimate the model with a simulation approach. Very intuitive, okay, very, intuitive simulation approach. Okay. Well, the idea is simple. We can just find coefficient with trial and error. Find the coefficient with trial and error. How to do that? Okay, first, because it is trial error, so we need the simulations. Let's say simulation is, uh, let's say it is the 10,000, the number of simulation. Number of simulation for trial and errors. And then we need a scalar. Scalar is one over 10, okay? It is the simulation, simulation 
parameter. Okay. I'll show you what it means shortly. Next. The initial coefficient, let's define initial coefficient beta, initial coefficient as NP. Our first guess, of course, the true, true beta is this one. True beta is some number, which we don't know. So we guess the true beta as like true beta is, we'll say, Mm, zero. Okay. True beta is zero. And then let's make it list. And then the initial B equal P S. And then mm, because the first one is errors. That's the first error, which people basically we want to estimate error, but the first one, let's make it first a very big number. Okay, first one, very big number. And then now let's start a trial error. Okay, trial such that what we can do is first um, for I in range simulations, Simulation, we do number of simulation. So the first B, first coefficient is all zero. So the next one is the previous one plus, okay, our new one, so scalar multiplied by, multiplied by NP random standard, standard, normal k plus one okay so our previous one first one is zero here so our next trial is the previous one plus random number so that's our new trial and then our estimate y hat our estimate is based on this it is a p x multiplied by p okay and then error we can calculate error error is basically the gap between y minus y hat okay and then we square it and then sum it and p sum. So this is sum of squared errors. Okay. So y is our target data, and y hat is our guess with new b, and uh, this is the difference. Actually, because y squared sum, so it is the uh, squared distance. Squared distance. So what I can do is if if error, new error is greater than the previous error, okay? Previous error, minus one, previous error. Here, of course, this is a very big number, so the first error would be likely to be bigger than that one, of course. If this hold, if this hold, then, Definitely our new B is better. So B is, so not good, it is not good. So I maintain the previous one and then error, new error is just keep the previous error. Okay, I don't update my parameters. Okay, so I return to the previous one. And then let's I keep the yeah p s I append and the p okay I keep the better 
coefficient and then I will keep error. Error. Okay. And then because first error is irrelevant, so error, let me say the first error, let's say just put it zero. Okay. Well, I actually it doesn't necessary. It doesn't have, but yeah, to make the graph better, let's put the first one zero. It is not necessary. First and zero. And then I can compare. Yeah. Uh, beta data, less beta data is, let's compare zip of the, um, here, it is the um, beta, the first one is the true one, second one is a this one, from this one, I, find the model parameters, so more. So this is from ORS. So model dot param, this model is this one. So I pick the parameter estimate. And the third one is the, uh, third one is the, what I find with the trial and error, okay. And then let me find the standard error data. Again, I will do the zip. And then basically, um, first one is murder PSE, beta standard error, which is from ORS. And second one is standard error. And P standard error of the P S with axis zero. Okay, by low. And then I can print tabulate para data and then print tabulate SC data. Ah. Oh. There is an error. Error is a good error is not defined. Error as. Okay, let me tweet again. And then actually, I want to run from the beginning. Another error. PS para data. Zip argument no, no, must support iteration. Hmm. To do that, what I can do is uh, 